All right, guys, welcome back. Son of Scotland, 90. Bringing you the motorsport manager. This is episode six. We did have some issues in the last episode that you know about. We actually did redo the race um, twice because it didn't save. But fortunately, we're back. And we're currently sixth in the standings with Alonso. And uh, unfortunately, Van Dorm is down in 14th. Yep, he got a ninth place finish in the last race, but apparently there was part of the car that got banned. Some shit like that. So um, he got a two fucking place grid penalty. It moved us down to 11th and uh, no points. So not good, but hopefully Van Dorm, I hope it doesn't affect him too much and he can bounce back in the next race, which is uh, South Africa, Cape Town. Acceleration is going to be crucial. Deceleration is going to be crucial. Low speed corners are going to be crucial. I think we could do well here. It's not like an engine track, so I think our acceleration is poor. Our deceleration is a bit middle of the field, but yeah, our acceleration is not the best. We've got the ninth best, so uh, we're probably not going to be doing that great here, if I'm being honest. It looks like Ferrari. I think Ferrari here could be the team to beat here, if acceleration and deceleration is... Uh, what's needed because they are the best team. But anyway, let's get stuck into practice and let's see here what we can do and try and get some more points. Van Dorm has got three races left to save his season. Will he be able to do it? Let's find out. All right, guys, so after an extremely uh, disappointing practice session, there you can see we've managed to somehow finish 19th and 20th. Basically, we were out in the wets. Uh, we waited too long to put the dries on. We never got a proper run in the uh, dry conditions and that's what has led to uh, the, the horrible lap time so we're like eight seconds off a uh, 18th place Roman Grosjean I'm hoping it won't be like that in qualifying I mean we could have we could have the car set up better than it is but I think we've uh, unlocked enough knowledge and stuff that I think we'll be doing alright in qualifying I think it's going to be dry anyway but I mean, it wasn't an ideal practice session by any means. It could have went a lot better, but I don't think it's a disaster. I'm, I'm still got hope that things can turn out well, that we can have a good qualifying session, and that we can uh, win the race. Well, not fucking win the race. I mean, score some points. So uh, oh, I'd wish we could win the race, but you never know if it's going to be raining in the race. It gives us an opportunity to maybe score high points. But uh, we'll see, guys. So let's get stuck at the qualifying. All right, guys. So we're still in Q1 here, but things are not looking good. We are in the elimination zone, we're currently 17, the time has ended, but we are currently on a flying lap. Six and a half times down, though, after sector one, not the best. We're approaching sector two now, we need to be much better here, come on, this is going to be our last chance, so no fuck-ups to see Alonso in 11th. Everyone else has completed their lap, so Van Dorm is the only guy left on track. We'll know when he crosses the line whether he's going to be making it or not. 1.5, so... Uh, Grosjean's 1.8, he can afford to lose about three times here in this final sector. And has he done it? No, he hasn't. He, I don't know what's happened during that last lap. Uh, the last sector, Fandorm's not happy, but he's fucked up. I don't even think he improved. Did he? No, he didn't. He didn't improve. He stayed the same time, so uh, very disappointing there for Fandorm. Thought he would have done. I thought he was going to get it there. He's three times to uh, spare. Going through the last sector, but no, he couldn't do it, and that means Van Dorm's been eliminated. There's his five drivers out Danny Kafia, Van Dorm, Kevin Magnussen, Julian Palmer, and uh, Carlos Sainz. And the Toro Rosso's so fucking bad in this game, I don't understand it. I really don't. Can someone tell me why the Toro Rosso's so bad in this game? Let me know down below. Um, I just don't know why they're so bad. I mean, and why is this so It's as if they've got the Sauber in the Toro Rosso. I think mixed up, because like the Sauber always seems to be like, you know, tr on the, on the, like the, you know, on the brink of getting into Q3 and fucking, it's the opposite, like Toro Rosso seems to always be where this, you'd expect the Sauber to be in real life, so I don't know, but anyway, we've got a launch on the Q2, hopefully you can get the job done for us. Right guys, so we're in Q2 now man, not a lot of time left, one second remaining, that is, uh, Alonso is on a flying lap, no one else is. Stroll and Massa are on in laps. Alonso currently sitting in 11th. He needs half a set, uh, not half a second, about two times to improve and get through. Can he knock Ocon out though? It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight. I don't think we've quite got the pace here. The top five teams definitely looking stronger than the rest. Can Alonso do it though? He's came through the final corner and he's 
just oh man he's improved he has improved but not enough so he's less than a about half a tenth off Ocon very unlucky there for Fernando but um it was a good effort but it's only going to be enough for 11th place he will not be taking part in Q3 and uh, there, yeah, so for Stappen is the guy that was <laughs> on professional pole for uh, qualifying too. Wouldn't have expected that, but man, you never know. Ricardo, one point two off. I'm assuming he never got a proper lap in. But yep, the five drivers eliminated: Fernando Alonso, Pascal Fairlane, Marcus Ericsson, Hulkenberg, and Romain Grosjean. So uh, we're going now to Q3 with the top five teams that. Well, when I say top five teams, you know, the teams that are expected, basically, to finish in the top five in the constructors, although we are currently fourth, I think, so we are doing pretty well at the moment. We're definitely outperforming where we'd expect to be. I think we were, say we would come fifth, even though I think fifth's a bit of a stretch, but I thought that Williams and Force India are both superior. I thought we could maybe beat one of them, that's why we picked fifth as our goal in the constructors, and... Uh, Q3's over, Fettel's done it, so the, yep, the fry did look stronger here, we looked at the stats, it's, they said it was favouring acceleration and deceleration, and um, Ferrari are better, apparently the best, Have the, and those two categories are the best, so it should be no surprise that they have pole here with Fettel leading from Hamilton, Raikkonen on board as both Red Bulls, I think the Red Bulls will be disappointed, especially for Stappen, he was first, he was one, uh, P1 in uh, session qualifying two, and and then he's ended up qualifying 5th, so not too great there. Ricardo 6th, Massa 7th, Perez 8th, Stroll 9th, and Ocon 10th. How will we get on though, guys, tomorrow in the Grand Prix? I've got a feeling we can do well. I'm optimistic. Hopefully we can get into the points. I don't know what we're going to do with Van Dorm starting so uh, far, but we might go for a different run. But I don't know, is it going to be raining at the start? If it's raining at the start, then fuck, who knows what we can do. But anyway, guys, we'll be back shortly. I, I, hope, it's, I hope it's dry. So then I think if it starts dry and goes to rain, you can, I think you can make up more positions, but we'll see what it is, guys. Anyway, back soon with the race. Alright, guys, here we go, man. Ready for the start of the race, man. Absolutely can't wait. It's going to be rain. When's it going to come? Nobody knows. Fettel starting on pole. Hamilton in second. Currently eating my dinner. It's pretty unprofessional, I know, but... Fuck it, who cares? <laughs> okay, here we go, man. The Grand Prix is good. Fan Dorm starting doing in the seventeenth, not a great start. Looks like Fernando's also lost a place. Van Dorm is now up a place. Come on, Fernando, do something. Don't no 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 Fernando. Dropping down several places now, down into 13th. Ericsson all the way up to seventh place. Great start from him on that soft tire. But Alonso here just going backwards now. Alonso sitting in 14th position. What the hell is happening here to Fernando? Fernando now is actually below Van Dorm. Like, what the actual hell? What the hell? Alright, we're going to speed this up now. Oh my god, Alonso, what are you actually doing? Alright, we've moved up to 15th. Maybe go around the outside of these people. Stroll down the 15th. Terrible start from him. Alonso trying to get back up. He's made a few positions here. Maybe in 12th. Can he get around the outside here? Alain Stroll. Uh, I don't know. Alonso trying to use the boost. Um, and he's alright now. He's in 11th. So good start there for Fernando. I mean, well, it was a piss start, but... Good end to the opening lap, managed to make up a few more places and uh, doing alright now. Well, alright, he's not doing alright, he's doing it slightly better than he was. There we go. Van Dorn now in 13th, do not let Stroll past you. Going 
Got Ericsson in seventh, so like he could potentially hold up quite a few people. Bottas has dropped into eighth. He'll not be happy with that. Come on, Van Dorn. No, Van Dorn's been overtaken again. Pardon me, man, again. Fuck's sake. Back to Alonso. He got past Massa momentarily, but we've been overtaken again. Massa's going to go right. Oh my god, Alonso lost two places there in the one corner. Not fucking good. Not good at all. So, I mean, albeit. Oh, what's happened? Fernando's out. No, what the hell, Fernando Alonso? Jesus Christ, this race is going to be pish. Alonso not happy, he's in his crash, I don't get it. He fucking crashed it, so... I think it was a problem with the car. I mean, yeah, look at this. Uh, the car's just failed on him, so... Very disappointing there. Uh, you can see Fettel pulling away in front. Because Perez is forward, so uh, Fettel and Verstappen... Pulling away at the front of the uh, race, so could be a battle between those two for the win. And now we're just down to one car, and that car is Stoffel van Dorm. And I uh, fuck, we better turn this shit back down now, because uh, we've been at it for a while. That uh, were minus a lap. I've actually forgot to take it off attack there for so long. Having a look at the weather forecast, don't see any sign of rain at the moment, but could come at any time. We do want it to come though before we make a first pit stop, man. That's what we would prefer. Currently stuck behind Hulkenberg, who is on the softer tyre. But he's not that far behind Ericsson, who's also on the soft tyre, so I don't think there's any I don't think there's like a huge urgency here to pass Hulkenberg. I think we may as well just sit behind him and uh, conserve the tires. Uh, gonna go low now on the engine mode, try and get some of that fuel back. May as well while we're stuck here behind them. But definitely the top six are pulling away from Ericsson, who is in seventh place, definitely holding the rest of the field up. Still no sign of the wind, the rain's gonna come. A bad feeling that we're going to have to... Oh, what the hell's happened here? Hulkenberg is going pretty slow. Can Van Dorn pass him? We're going to try. And we've got past him, so I don't know if there's a problem there for Hulkenberg or... Well, he just had a poor exit or something, but... He was lacking pace there momentarily, and we managed to take advantage and get past him. Move up to 11th place, which is great. And now we can hunt down the cars in front of us, which are Massa, Ocon, and Marcus Ericsson. Ocon's tyres look completely fucking done at this stage, and I don't know, he must have had a lock-up or something, but safe to say he's not going to be out in there much longer. 42% already. Very gutted though that Alonso's out, man. It was not what we were wanting. Ah, Fernando having a great season. Currently sick from the Drivers' Championship, but, you know, there's a whole host of drivers that we could probably overtake him here. I mean, he'd be lucky if he's in the top 10 after this race. But, it's a chance for Van Dorm now. He is the only McLaren car out there, so he's definitely going to beat his teammate. That may get him a bit of momentum. But is he going to get points? It's all about points here. It won't matter if he beats Alonso if he finishes 11th. It's all about finishing in those points, paying positions, and at the moment we're just outside them. Van Dorn knows he has this and another two races left to save his job. Jensen Button is ready, ready to be promoted at any stage. It's a lot of pressure on Van Dorn. The Honda engine just not performing as well as McLaren wanted, and uh, Van Dorn. It's been definitely been outperformed by Alonso, so although most drivers would be get you know completely dismantled by Alonso, so nothing to be ashamed of, but he definitely could do a points finish here to try and get back in the good books of McLaren. They have been pressuring me to drop him, but I do want to give him a fair shot. And uh, we appear to be falling a bit behind now. Hulkenberg is probably gonna try and look at put a maneuver on us and I'm gonna start pushing these tires a wee bit now because 
Kafir now has made his way through. Uh, we're falling four seconds off Massa. <laughs> I'm quite content though to stay on low at the moment and then maybe push later. I'm trying to get my fuel back, so. But then again, we, at the same time, we don't want to fall that far behind. Looks like Bottas has made his way past Ericsson. Come on, almost all in awe what we've we done. Just let Kefiat pass you, a complete tube. Hey, right, Fandor, come on, let's regroup here. Ocon's still in nine if he can't stay it much longer. Bad thing for Ocon, though, I think when he does pit, he's probably going to come out behind a few of these guys that are on the soft tyre and the super soft, so he's going to have to make his way through them. Unless he can pull a big enough gap and he comes out in front of them all, that is another possibility. We'll just have to wait and see. He does at the moment have like 17 seconds over Palmer. Will that be enough? I don't quite know. It could be. It could be. Like, I don't know why Palmer goes so fucking slow at the moment. He's holding everyone up here. Um, well, I know he's shite. Like, that's probably one reason why he's going so slow. But I don't know. It just seems a bit weird to me why he's so bad at the moment. Hopefully Kefiat now can start catching Massa because I've almost got my fuel back. I'm going to start pushing here. Let's try and get these tyres back up to... Uh, we'll give it one more lap we'll, and then we'll try and get these tyres back up to the correct temperature. Still nobody in the pits yet, so that's all looking good. There's only one car in the pits and that's Fernando and he's, he's there permanently, unfortunately. Have a look at the Ocon's tyres now. Surely he's not got much life left in them. They're 20%. Still no sign of rain as we speak. And Ocon looks like he's fallen off the cliff here. Yeah, he has. So Ocon is looking pretty bad at the moment. And uh, can we pass him? Yes, we have. So, oh, have we? I don't know. Fuck, come on. Get past him there. So Ocon looks like he's trying to stay it too late. He tried to get too far into the race on those tyres and now he's, uh, he's paying for it big time. That moves off up to 11th but we're still outside the point so... No luck man. Fucking phone's going off. What the hell is happening here? Right, so we need to actually pull up a bit. No, yeah, this man Ericsson's like a full fucking 10 seconds in front of us. I don't know how that's happened, so let's just start pushing again here and get some heat into these tyres and <laughs> close up in that gap because we've let them get far too far in front of us. I don't actually know how he got that far ahead. Someone else thinks Pitt is no, um, no, they haven't. I thought someone had. I just forgot that Oko and say uh, tyres went off the cliff and he did pit, but we already know that, so. We need to try and start catching Marcus Ericsson here. Why did why are we so fucking slow? I don't quite know. Why is Massa falling so far behind him? Don't get that either. Now we're, we are going to be pitting in like the next I think three or four laps. And I think the question uh, we need to decide right now what tire we're going to put on because there's no guarantee when the rain's going to go. Now we would like to put the ultras on again and uh, you know be on the fastest tire, but we don't want the rain to come after. Our second stint, and um, we have to pit again, so I don't quite... Should we put on the harder soft tyres and just get as long into the race as possible, and that means we could pit when the rain comes, or... I don't know. If we put the ultras on, we're probably going to come out behind, you know, half these guys that are going longer than us anyway, so we're not really going to be at 
uh, able to push, so... Unless it's difficult here, I don't quite know what we should do. 29% of the tires, these tires are not lasting long at all. Mm. So we, we're, we are catching Ericsson, no, that's, that's the good news, but not, not by that much, but we're catching them I suppose, so... Let's go high overtake. I just want to be close, I want to be reasonably close to him when we do decide that we have to pit, and I probably will pit next lap. Bottas is in the pit, so he's put on the soft tyre. Maybe that's what we should do. That may actually be a good idea. He's came out just directly behind Hockenberg, so... I'm thinking that maybe we should put on the soft tyre. And I think we have to pit this lap. Our tyres are pretty much gone here. Um... Are we going to pit? What's Kefiat's tyres on? 19? Yeah, we're going to pit this lap. It's just a matter of what tyres do we put on. Do we put the ultras on? Or do we put the so I mean, you're talking... They're going almost double, but... Obviously the speed isn't really there. Uh, I'm looking at the weather forecast. I don't quite see any rain. Um... Do we risk it or do we put on this? If we put on the softs, we can stay out until the rain does come, so. Mm. I don't think it's quite a long pit stop here, is it? But if we put on the ultras, we can't really push because we're going to have cars in front of us, so. Fuck it, I'm putting on the ultras. I'm going to go for it. I like to be risky. And I think this is definitely a risky uh, call, so. We're going to do this and we're going to see what happens. Currently in ninth, we need to come out around. We need to beat Palmer out. I think that has to be the goal. If we beat Palmer out, we could be in the money. Here we go. We need a good pit stop. Five point three. It's not bad. But we've been beating her for fuck's sake. All these guys have beat us out and that is not what we needed. It was a super quick pit stop, but it just wasn't quick enough. So we're going to have to go overtaking here straight away. Let's just waste no time and try and get past as many people here as possible. We're closing up on the back of Fairline. We need to, we need to attack them straight away. We're in front of Stroll. We're in front of Ocon. They both put on the soft tyres, which is probably smart. We probably should have done that. I mean, it could just be a difference of... Um, if we'd have beat these guys in front of us out, then it would be a whole different story, but... We haven't beat them out, and then things are not looking too great. We've got Massa currently in the pits. We're going to get past him. I think Massa... What's Massa doing? Massa's came out in the soft tyres. And uh, Oh my God, we've made a good move here. We're, we're up to 11. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so um, do we keep all the engine mode on high or do we bring it down for a bit or do we keep, I don't know, come on, one more, just one more move. Get past him and then we're flying, we, we really are looking good here. Right, let's uh, use the boot, oh for fuck's sake, come on Fandorm. We've got to keep it on the attack, we've got to attack him. Please, get round the outside, inside, oh my god, look how much time we've lost there. That's a joke, I don't know how we've lost that much fucking time. Phone keeps going off, pissing me off, see if it gets me fucking copyrighted. Oh come on, get past him you prick. I don't know, we, we need to do it right now, if we don't then we're fucked. And we're not, look man, we're just, ah, uh, we're doomed. One fucking move, mate, just go for it. Why is he such a shite bag? Come on, please. Fucking race is ruined if we don't pass him. And we're not going to pass him, are we? This is absolutely unbelievable. So disappointing. You never know, see if we get past him. 
Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, man. See if we get past them here, man. Points could be on, right? Please. Don't fucking back out it now. Don't back out it now. Come on. Come on, super soft. Super soft. Yes. Alright, so we're just going to bring them back to neutral now. Conserve these tyres and we'll take them down to medium. So, right, guys, be back in a wee second, man. This is your like an ad advertisement coming up here, but only. I'm not getting paid for it. It's like a free advertisement where I can just walk away for five minutes. Right, we're back, man. <laughs> Still in tenth. Not quite making the time up on Hulkenberg that I would like at this stage of the race, but... <sighs> How are we doing compared to the others? So, we'll get the people's pit it. We've got Stroll, Massa, Ocon, Fiat. We're doing alright. What we do need to kind of do is we need to kind of push while Sainz and Fairline, Fairline and Grosjean are kind of holding those guys up. So that we have to pit again for the Ultras, if we do have to pit again before the rain comes down, that uh, we've got a big enough gap to try and beat them out. That is the uh, that is the goal, so whether we make it happen or not, I don't quite know. Got to go high here. Push for a few laps and uh, see what kind of position that we're in when we get to about lap 24, 25 and we are catching Hulkenberg which could prove to be another problem but I'm hoping that he will pit before we get to him. We really, that's what we kind of need. If, it, if he doesn't then we're, we are a bit fucked. We definitely have backfired if uh, we do not get to him in time. If we do not, if he doesn't pit before we get to him, should I say. I think I might go push here as well in the tyres for a bit. I think we may as well push these tyres because I've just realised that the rain isn't coming anytime soon. It must be coming right towards the end, so there's no point trying to stretch these tyres out. We may as well, you know take advantage of them and that's what I plan on doing so we'll push here while we can and we are currently pulling away from Stroll which is good I know what we're going to do, we're going to have two laps of in, uh, overtake and attack and, <laughs> and we'll see where we are after that so two full laps of attack, overtake and we'll see what kind of condition the fuel's in and what kind of condition the tires are in after we've done this. Fuck, catch a uh, Hulkenberg now, so. But we have pulled a hell of a shitload of time here out of, um. 
fair line. I think we are going to turn the engine mode down though and turn the tyres down because like I say we are pretty close to them so no point really. We could probably afford to go on low. I'm going to see if we can go on low here actually because um, as long as we're not losing time we're going to be stuck behind him anyway so if we can follow him and put the tyres on back up and low then I don't see why we shouldn't do that. But we'll just have a quick look and see what the the time is. Like so it's one point, one point one. And so we're currently losing a wee bit of time to him. But I'm not too bored. We can all we can always catch up. We don't want to be in that dirt area anyway, do we? So I think we're doing alright here. Quite happy with how this is playing out so far. Don't think we're gonna score massive points here, but I don't see why we can't get ninth. I don't think we're going to beat Ericsson. Ericsson is having a really good race, currently still in third. I just realised Perez is winning this race. What the fuck happened up front? <laughs> don't know, man, but Perez is leading this thing. Absolutely mental. Mental. And uh, now, yes, we're falling further behind now. We're 2.3 behind. But I'm quite happy to... Because we can't really... There's no point in us being on attack if we don't pass him, so you know what I mean? We may as well just save as much of these tyres as possible. Albeit Stroll is kind of catching us and Sainz is going to pit soon, so maybe we should actually go back to neutral on the tyres and we'll go back to medium on the engine mode and we'll catch back up to the rear end of Hulkenberg now, hopefully. The gap is 2.9. We should catch, reel him in now. Yeah, you can see it's coming down now, 2.9, 2.8. And it's almost under 2.8 now. Stroll though has got past signs, which is not what we wanted. Not good news. So let's give a quick look at the gap back to Stroll. It's currently 12.3. 12.3, so... Still no sign of the rain. Which is good, I guess, because it means we can take advantage of the third set of ultras that we put on. So, I mean, I guess the longer the rain is away, actually, the better it is going to be for us. Weird how it's worked out. I mean, originally we did want the rain to come, you know, as quickly as possible, but now we're kind of we're kind of on the opposite scale and we want it to stay away. We're quite happy for it to stay away. And stay away, hopefully it will. Stroll definitely is cutting the gap down now. It is 12 seconds, but we have got the gap to Hulkenberg down to 1.9, so we're, I mean, we're being caught, but we're also catching Hulkenberg, so it's so working out both ways here at the moment. 34% on the tyres when we do pit. Fuck. Um, definitely want to beat Mass on that out. We do have a 20 second gap over him, so I'm hoping that we'll beat him. Surely we'll beat him. We're caught right up now to the back of Hulkenberg again. But um, we can't pass, so unless his tyres have half went off, which it looks like they might have. He's definitely struggling here. He's lost a shitload of time. And if we can attack round here with the um, cares or whatever it's called, the boost, it looks like we could have him. We are trying to... Oh, I don't know what's happened there. We've lost a shitload of time. So it looks like we might, we might still have him here. We've, we've got him. Great manoeuvre. So come on, Fandor, and push. Let's put the engine mode back up to high and um, try and pull away a wee bit here. Try and get more time out in front. Currently 28% on the tyres, so I think we'll probably stay out one more lap. We'll push them for one more lap. I don't know if we could get two, we could try and stretch two, but I don't quite know if that will happen. We should be able to beat Fairline out, that's the gap I'm aiming for. I'd love to beat Stroll out. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm hoping we can beat Fairline out. If not, we shouldn't be any, uh, we shouldn't come out any further behind. We won't be further behind Grosjean, surely, unless we fuck up the pit lane. Uh, pit lane, pit stop even. 
here we go, just pushing the tires here, we're probably going to have to pit this lap, I don't want to leave them out too long, and I guess the sooner we pit, the sooner we get to put on a set of fresh ultras anyway, so you know, it doesn't work out that badly, and well, yeah, we'll put on this set, gets us in approximately another 18 laps, and surely the rain's going to come sooner or later, there it's there actually, so I can see the rain, so we're going to put the ultras on, we're going to go for another medium pit stop in terms of time, and hopefully, man, we can get the job done here. Back on low. And when we come out the pit stops, we're going to attack, I think, the first lap. But we need a good stop, and hopefully we get one. Now is not the time for a, a pit stop error. Here we go, someone's in the pits. Is it Ericsson? He is in the pits, and he's having a fucking bad stop. We've had a great stop, though, 5.4. We've came out in 10th. We have beat fairly now. We beat by Stroll, but we were expecting that, so... Not too bored about that, but let's see if we can go ahead now and push. So currently 10th and Ericsson, fucking hell, Ericsson's just left the pit. So he was running up and third for <laughs> majority of this race. That is sickening. Now he sees himself down in 19th. We've got Hulkenberg who's still out there. So, uh, I did say that I thought the best we could get would be ninth, but it looks like we could possibly get 8th due to um, Ericsson there being he given a shit deal, he, he was given a shit hand there for sure. 3 seconds the gap separating us and Lance Stroll, we're going to try and bring that down. We should be able to bring that down, no problem, you'd think, on this um, ultra soft tyre. But man, you never know. Right, so we're on the back now of Stroll. Can we get past? Alright, I'm going to have to turn. I'm going to turn the engine mode up to overtake here. I really want past him.
Come on, right, we're trying to find a way through here, we're, we're going through all the fuel man, alright, this looks like a good chance here, can we get a good exit at this corner, we might just have, no, nah, we're, we're falling further back, ah, come on, good exit here, we might attack, ah, fuck it, we're going to go for it here, I think we could have them, we're going all out for it man, it's here, it's now or never, Come on, stick it down the inside. Come on, Fandorm, go for it. Yes! Big Stoffel there, fucking the man. Get in. Big Stoffel, Fandorm. Right, now we can go ahead and push now. We'll go we'll conservative on these tyres, get them back down, and hopefully we can pull away. The last thing we want is Stroll to come back at us. And uh, we've got a rain in approximately three to four laps, so good job we made that move as soon as we could. Well, with the rain coming shortly, I suppose there is no. We don't really have to look after these tires as much, although they are overheating at the moment. So we need to try and get them down a little bit in temperature. I wish I could we get away with putting the engine mode into low. I, I would like to be further ahead of Stroll before we try that. I'm not really far enough in front to try and, um, you know, mess a bit too much here. Back under a second now, though. so Stroll's not giving up, man. Stroll's going for this. He has turned the engine mode up. So Stroll, you're definitely not giving up an eighth place. Be a great result if Van Dorm can get it, though. It's kind of the result he needs. He's had a decent race. Stepping up now that Fernando Alonso is out, leading the line for McLaren. Fucking hell, man. Since we've passed Strobel, we've just not been able to pull away, create any sort of gap. Rain is coming shortly, though, so, I mean, do we try and... Maybe we should try attack now. We're going to attack these tyres. Fuck it, let's turn the engine mode up to high. We need to try and pull away if you stroll. Do not want him to overtake us here. Wonder if like the likes of Stroll and Massa, will they be able to make it though to the safety car? Twenty seven percent no not the safety car till the rain comes, twenty seven percent left on their tires. Does look like we're gonna have intermediate conditions first, then it's gonna move on to heavy rain. I wonder if anyone will stay out and try and make the tires last until they're um skip the intermediate tires and try and get onto the wets. It's a possibility they could try that. We'll have to wait and see. We are beginning to slightly pull away though from Stroll now, which is good. Gap is it currently at like 1.5 or 1.6. So, we're, yeah, we're doing good at 1.7. Yeah, we're pulling away at the moment. Things is looking pretty good for us now. And the rain looks like it's about to start coming down. So, this may be our last lap on these altars, and then we might just come in and pit them. Fucking hell, this washing machine, that's all you can hear, see if it's ruined my video. I'll be raging. <laughs> Screw you, washing machine. We're doing alright here, man. The rain is supposedly coming, I can't really see it. 
I must be honest, don't really doesn't really look like it's raining to me. As of right now, Perez is still leading this thing, which I think is mental. Could Perez got a win for Force India? Disappointing, though, because he was just a few points behind Alonso, so... You know, Alonso was battling him and the drivers, but... If he does pick up massive points here today, then it will, obviously it's going to put him way in front. And he's going to be very, very hard to catch. We've got Stroll now. Van Dorn 3.5 in front of... Fuck, we've just missed the pit stop. Are you shitting me? I just missed the pits. I was going to pit that lap and fucking hell, I've just missed it. Alright, maybe I'll pit this lap coming then. Don't quite know. 30% here on these tyres. We want to bring them down a bit. Conserve, medium. Are we going to pit this lap? It does say it's raining, but I don't quite see it. I don't want to pit if it's not. I definitely want to be sure here. Do not want to pit too early. No one else is pitting. We're 4.7 now in front of Stroll, and it doesn't appear to be any rain, so... Maybe we were better off there not pitting that last lap, and maybe we should stay out again. I think we are going to have to stay out, because the rain's just not, it's not here right now. Suppose It's supposed to be raining, but I just don't see it. And I'm beginning to wonder now, have we attacked our tyres too quickly? This could be... Oh, I can see rain now. Fucking finally, man. Right, we're going to come in this lap. Pit and put on the intermediate straight away. Then maybe put on the wets later in the race. And I'm going to put on pit strategy. We're going to go with safe. I've been risking it on balance all race. But I just don't want anything to go wrong here. Because we do have a bit of a gap over stroll. We can't afford to be easy here. We can't afford to go slow in the pit stop. We will still beat him out. Be interesting to see how many people pit this lap. Ocon there has pit it. He's put it on the wets. Palmer pit it ages ago and put it on the inters. What the fuck was he playing at? Very strange decision. Like he pit it ages ago and he's put on the um inters, so that's very strange. Must I guess he mustn't want to do another run on the dries and then have to put the wets on. With four point seven in front of Stroll and we come into the pits now, so hopefully we can have a nice clean pit stop. Probably around the seven second margin. There you go, strolls went past, so he's not pit it. Let's see what we're going to be. We're going to be 7.7. It's not, not the end of the world. We're going to come out in 11th. So I think we're actually doing pretty good here. We are falling behind the leader though. So I mean, have we made a mistake? Have we pit it too early? Surely not. We're falling a little, a little bit. Oh my god, no. No, I think the track is going to come to us pretty soon here. And we are on conservative as well, so we should start pushing these tyres. Try and get some heat into them, let's attack them. Won't be on them long, we will be pitting to the wets. And I have noticed a few people are just going straight on to the wets, so... Maybe we've fucked up here. I definitely, I hope we haven't, like, I really hope we haven't. I do not want to throw away points here. But... I don't quite know, right? Let's go on medium and try and... We're going to have to try and do something at this stage, I don't quite know. Mass is in the pits, what's he going to put on? What's he putting on? He's put on wets. He's put on wets. Have we made a mistake? Have we made a mistake? Well, I don't think there's any point pushing at the end when we're on the wets. We need to try and push now so that when we put on the wets, we've still got track position. Because I think if things go the way... Oh my god, Van Dorm says he's getting some engine problems soon. I don't know. I just think at the mo... I don't know. I think at the moment... It's going to be difficult, I think, to see how we're going to have track position when we put the wets on, if I don't push. So I think we're better off pushing now, having track position and trying to defend it. We've got Stroll in the pits. But Fettel and Bottas still in the pit. Have they fucked up? I mean, I think they're having issues. They're both putting the wets on. Are we going to beat them out? We have beat them out. Bottas and Fettel had the wets on. I think they've came out and put intermediates on, so have they... I don't know, I don't quite know what they've done there. I mean, have they made a mistake? Have they made an error? I'm not quite sure what they were playing at. We've now been overtaken by Fettel. We're trying to get past Hulkenberg here. I don't care. I want Bottas to get past this, believe it or not. I don't want to have to worry about him. I just want to have clear track in front of us and not have to worry about defending against him because we will lose time defending. Right, let's see if we can push. Right, come on, boost here. There we go. We're past Hulkenberg. Get in. 
Right, so let's just see now what we can do. We're in 8th. I'm happy to be in 8th. And we do have a decent advantage now over Stroll. So I think they've tried to put the wets on to skip the intermediate phase. And it's not worked out for them. So I think 8th place is looking very good for us. Very good indeed. You've got the front five are still out on the soft. So I don't quite know how that's going. We'll check out what Perez is doing and what's his last lap. His last lap was a 120.9. Ours was a 116.7. So... Um, these guys are going to have to pit, aren't they? And Perez is not pit at this lap either. He stayed out. I wonder if we can catch any of them. Who's the closest to us? We've got Verstappen and Raikkonen would be the closest to us. And like, are we going fast enough that we can? I don't know. Sure, when they pit anyway, they're probably going to put wets on. So I doubt we're going to make up much time on them. But I mean, they have made a mistake now, staying out so long. Should have pit it by now. Hockenberg still out on the soft tyres, as is the front five. Don't quite understand when should we come in and put the wet. I'm quite happy to stay out in these inters for now. I think they're doing a decent job. And I'm going to put the engine mode now down to medium. Fucking hell, look at that amount. Look at the gap now we've got over. Those wet tyres, definitely not the right tyres to be on. People that have come in and, you know, risked it, it's not paying off for them. And we are catching the five in front, albeit they are coming round now for the pit stop, so... I mean, they should be fine, but I mean, you never know here. You never know, I mean, Verstappen has definitely lost a shitload of time. You've got Perez in the pits. Ricardo stayed out again. Ricardo, that's a suicide decision, that. That is absolutely suicidal. Why has Ricardo stayed out once more? Answers on a postcard, please. Perez has put on the uh, wet tyres. Hamilton's fucked, Hamilton's still sitting in the pits, so this is crazy. Absolutely crazy here, so Hamilton looks like he's not going to have a good end of the race here, is he? Got Ragnon in the pits, and it looks like Ragnon's put on the wets as well. We're now up to sixth, but let's see what kind of lap times we can pump in here. Got Verstappen stayed out, Verstappen on the soft stayed out, so it looks like we're actually going to well past Verstappen here. Holy shit, I think we're going to get a lot more than eighth. Come on, pass him. Let's waste no fucking time here. Oh, I said waste no time and you're stuck behind him. Like, come on, go. Right, is Ricardo pitting this lap? Surely. He must. If he doesn't, he's he made a big error. Like, he definitely has. Perez is on the wets and I think they're the wrong tyre to be on. We're actually... Ah, uh, yeah, Ricardo is pitting this lap. He's probably going to put on... I don't know what he's going to put on. Here we go. So we're currently up in fifth. Verstappen is in the... No, he's not in the pits yet. Ricardo's leading the pits. And he's not going to be leading the race, though, is he? No, he's not. Fettel's got past him, and Fettel is on the faster tyre. You've got Bottas and Ford on the intermediates. I'm, I would expect him to get past Ricardo, but... The guys on the intermediate tyres do have to pit again. The guys on the wets don't. There's Verstappen, just pit it, put on the wets. Don't think quite... But the wets are not yet the tyre to be on, so we are going to be faster than these guys... And look at that, we're up into third, holy shit. Can we create a big enough gap before the wet hat? I don't think, no, I think it's going to be wet soon, damn it. I was going to see if we could have stayed out long enough to create a pit stop gap over Ricardo in fourth, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to keep a close eye now on these tyres. We do not want to stay out too long. We've, this has worked great. Here we go, we're trying to, look at that, I think we're overlapping. We're overlapping Stroll now. A few laps ago we were battling with the guy, now we're overlapping them. Absolutely crazy. Let's just see how much longer we can stay out. We're going to put the tyres now back to neutral and uh, we'll go medium on the fuel. We're right up behind Bottas now, but we're still pulling away from Ricardo, so who fuck, who knows? We're going to stay out as long as we can here. And guys, who actually knows? We could be looking at a podium here. We could actually be looking at a podium. If we can stay out and create that gap, the gap's at 14 seconds. It is getting bigger and bigger. This is absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. 15, 16.1, 16.3. I think Van Dorm is actually going to get a podium. I don't believe it. Stoffel Van Dorm is looking good for a podium here. Albeit when we put on the wets, I expect the guys behind us to be much faster. We don't quite have enough. Oh no, I think... I thought I got too excited, I think. They're catching us, or is it just because we had to overlap a car? 
I don't quite know. Let's see if we can push here. Go back onto high over to uh, high engine mode. Push on the uh, we'll push on the tires. What's that now? Eighteen point four. Now we're not pulling at eighteen point five. We're still pulling a little bit, but not as much as we were. Eighteen point six. Eighteen point seven. Just need to keep this up. I mean, how many more laps can we get out of this? I think we we are going to pit soon. I don't think I'm going to pit this lap, but I think I might pit the next one. Next lap, nineteen seconds the gap. We are going to be on fresh or wet, so that is um, one of the benefits of staying out longer. All right, we're going to pit him this lap. He wants to pit. I mean, it's his choice. I was going to keep him at one more lap, but he says he needs to pit, so. We'll go ahead and um, um, we'll exit. Fuck it, if we go, I don't know, ah, fuck it, we'll just go with that. We'll go safe, man, I don't want to risk anything. Or do we go? I'll go safe, fuck it. I don't know what's going to happen here. There we go. I mean, are we going to beat him out? Are we going to beat him out? No, no, no. Yes. Just, man. We've fucking just done it. I'm going to use that boost and get as far away from him as possible. Right, then we're going to take this. Oh, fuck. Right. Save the boost. Go back on the engine mode. Go down to medium now. We're attacking these tires. We're getting them up nice and warm. And it looks like the wet tire is now the best tire to be on. So let's see what we can do with the guys in front. Fettel and Boss. Just how much longer are they going to risk staying out? I mean, you, you think they would pit now, but you don't know, man. They might just try and stay out a couple more laps longer, and it could give us, could give us the advantage. And it looks like they've stayed out again, so we we'll just have to be patient, just wait. Fuck, 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 no, 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 no. What happened? I looked away for like one second and... Ah, we've dropped down to 5th. Don't get me wrong, like 5th would still be great, but I don't quite understand what happened there. Looked, at, looked away for one second, man, to cuddle the cat and fuck. End up in 5th place, what, what's that all about? And we're directly behind Ricardo, who he's directly behind Perez. We're, we're really struggling here in these conditions at the moment. But not a lot you can do at this stage, just to see out the race. I'm going to go neutral here on the tyres and just, I don't know, Fettel and Bottas now in the pits. Nah, we're definitely not going to be, we'll be close like, but they're going to beat us out for sure. Unless they have an error. Looks like Fettel has had an error. And uh, we'll beat him out. So Fettel's had a pro, and we just, ah, now we're one place off the podium. Fuck, come on. Oh shit, Fettel though, he's looking feisty here. He's, he's attack. oh my god, look at the speed, eh, uh, speed. Speed of that. Fucking Ferrari, just no chance there to do anything. Let's attack. I'm trying to stay close to these guys. I mean, I'm not giving up on the podium. I think the podium is still there. We've actually got past... It says we're in front of Fettel. Even though Fettel's in front of us, I don't understand this. So, since so we're both fourth, strange. Now we're correct us, we're back to fifth. Don't quite know what happened there. Botch with the game. Eight laps to go. And uh, de we're definitely now falling off the this pace of Bottas. We just don't have it. 
eight laps remaining. Yeah, we're falling behind, just don't have the speed. And there's not a lot we can do now. But sure, if we can come, I mean, we, I think we have to worry more about Raikkonen at this stage, who's behind us and closing the gap. But even if we can come fifth, it'd be fucking ten amazing points for Van Dorm. It would help him out massively in the drivers, and it would help us out in the constructors. One of our rivals, Force India here, are going to score massive points today with Perez in second, so... Whatever Van Dorm can do to try and, you know, soften that blow will be great. Riker on, get the gap now, down to almost four seconds. Trying to just see it the win, eh, see it the win, see it the fifth place. I think any chance they pulled him, I've sort of given up now. We're falling, we don't even have the pace here. Uh, Fandorm claiming, uh, complaining about a few parts on the car, so I would just love to get home here, finishing fifth, take the ten points. If we can do that, that would be great. I don't quite know if we're going to be able to, though. We are struggling, there's parts of the cars falling off, man, it's just not good at the moment. But we're going to keep on trying here. Three laps to oh fuck, there's Kimmy there fucking right behind us. No, Jesus Christ.
Come on, just need to see it out now. Lap 63 has started. Kimmy is about... I think he's under two seconds. He's got the gap under two seconds. We're just going to have to... we have to take it a bit easy here on the field. Now go back to medium. Uh, let's attack the tyres. We may as well. We can't afford to. Come on. Currently, oh, we've got the car, we're on medium, I don't know if we're going to be able to see the race out in medium. On the medium engine mode. Right, last lap. Hamilton is on. Oh, not Hamilton, but uh, sorry. Looks like Perez is just going to be up to able to uh, hold out for. We can afford to go overtake now, I think, surely. Yeah, let's let's do it. Looks like Perez is going to be able to hold out here for second. I would like Fettel to beat him, taking all three points off him, but at this stage, isn't looking very likely. I suppose good news for us is uh, neither Williams are going to score points. Massa and Stroll down 11th and 12th. Ocon though is going to get another point for 4th India, which is not good. Um, and we, now we need to definitely go easy on the fuel here. We're at just plus 2, so we'll put it back down to medium. Kimi is catching us. He is very close at the moment. But I think everyone's wet tyres are going off, so a few more laps, you know, we could have got a podium because Ricardo and Perez's tyres are fucked, but... Unfortunately, this is the end of the race, and we're not going to get a few more laps, and this is going to be it. It is what it is, but the podium was on here a couple more laps into this race. If this was like a 67, 68 lap race, even a 6... Oh my god, no, fucking hell, right, going to try and beat us on the line, fuck no! Yes! We managed to finish fifth, thank god for that. Thank god. I thought Kimmy was going to beat us there, I just seen him come right on the line, he was like fucking Jeepers Creepers in that black mobile. Coming right at us, like, ah, shit, we're beat, but we used the remaining part of our boost, and we're all right, man, we're doing good, so. Fifth place, delighted with that. Couldn't have really asked for much more. At the start, when um, Alonso got put out, I thought, fuck, this is going to be terrible. But no, we managed to get it, so. And then see there's the final results, but as first, Perez second, Vettel third, Ricardo fourth, Van Dorn fifth, Kimi Rankin sixth, Verstappen seventh, Hamilton eighth, Hunkberg ninth, and Ebasti, Ebastian Ocon in tenth. Right, and uh, with that disappointing race there for Fernando, you see he's dropped into 8th place, but Stoffel van Dorn moving up to 11th now with 14 points, still 20 behind Fernando, but definitely gave him a shot in the arm that he needed. Right now, still leads the championship for Hamilton, Fettel Ford, but has moved up to 4th, Perez obviously with that 
great podium third place sees him move up into sixth uh, for start moves down a spot and obviously Alonso like I said earlier moving down to two so who's still to score points I don't think the um, Toro Rosso have scored points yet no they haven't I don't know to me I think the person that made this mod has got Toro Rosso and uh, Sauber mixed up it's my opinion I don't because I don't know why you'd make Toro Rosso that bad you know doesn't make quite a lot of sense to me, but fuck it, we'll go with it. And you can see now that we are still fifth in the constructors. And uh, for said they have obviously increased the gap a wee bit, but we've increased our gap on Williams because we scored points there and they didn't. And like I say, is Toro also the only team not to score a point, underlining just how bad they are, man. That's shocking. Six races in, they haven't even scored a point yet. Very disappointing for them. See, obviously, some uh, good changes with Van Dorn after that result. His uh, stats have increased a bit. Fernando Alonso's stats have also increased, but as you would expect, Morales have done a bit because of uh, their changes. So, we'll need to try and improve that in the next race. Alright, guys, and that's going to do it. We've got Vancouver coming up in 17 days' time. So, I mean, it was a good race there, apart from Alonso getting the DNF early on in the race. I mean, all in all, scored 10 points. If we could score 10 points of a race, I'd be more than happy with that. Uh, so anyway, let me know down below how you think it's going. Uh, we'll hopefully have some more updates to the car. By then, it's going to be a cloudy race, so... Don't know, could be raining, might not be, but we'll have to wait and see. But until then, guys, it's been Scotland 90. Peace.